Pumpkin chunking is a sport where you launch a pumpkin as far as possible, and this world record sent a pumpkin 4,623 feet with an air cannon. <laughs> what the fact? The facts and knowledge on homemade cannons. Mindblow 30 featured a cannon that fires water bottles through walls. It was developed by BCB International, and the idea is to allow militaries to break into buildings without creating big, fiery explosions. Cannons are basically any type of artillery that use explosive propellants to launch a projectile. This includes guns, so they aren't necessarily just giant weapons that fire cannonballs. The word cannon is derived from the old Italian word meaning large tube. Cannons are descendants of the Fire Lance, depicted here in 10th century China. That big stick you see in movies prepping a cannon actually has a wet sponge on the end to extinguish any sparks from the last firing. Then a bag of gunpowder is inserted and jammed in with a rammer. Drop in the projectile, ignite, and... This homemade cannon is fired every year on the 4th of July in Three Forks, Montana, and it shoots a bowling ball two miles. <laughs> It might be a bit smaller, but this homemade howitzer is capable of bursting through a trash can and also blowing up stuffed animals. <laughs> Using soda cans filled with concrete is one way to create cheap homemade projectiles, as these guys in Australia demonstrate with their shoulder-mounted steel cannon that has a range of about 400 meters. With some PVC pipe, a modified sprinkler valve, and pressurized air, this creation fires a golf ball around 1,100 yards. For tennis ball buffs, there's the TAC-6, the world's only combustion six-shot pump-action tennis ball repeater, available at ultimatespudgun.com. A homemade, fully automatic tennis ball cannon takes care of the loading and firing process all by itself. Potato cannons or spud guns come in many shapes and sizes, including this oxygen and gas mix, this hybrid oxygen propane spud gun, or this exploding potato cannon. <laughs> Finally, a vortex cannon blasts a ring of air that's formed from the drop in pressure in the vortex, condensing the water in the air, as explained by Jem from Bang Goes the Theory. One. Or in the case of this homemade vortex cannon from Kip K, a smoke machine is used to help create the ring. I'm gonna leave you with this cannon. What is it and where is it located? Before we go, here's last video's winner. Be sure to subscribe for more Vsauce 2, and as always, thanks for watching.